Hey, welcome to Johnny Savannah. So today we have the Yagua by J.C. Newman Cigars, a Yagua, uh, a nice Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. It uh, has Nicaragua binder and filler in there. Looks like a triple cap. I don't know if you can see that in there. Boom, nice little triple cap. The smell is a little bit like a hay, like a barnyard. Uh, also, one of the things to note on this, it is a Toro 6x54, but um, it's not like other traditional cigars in the sense that they don't use um, molds. They don't use any of the traditional stuff. What they do is they roll it and then they tie it off with a royal uh, Cuban palm leaf um, to give it a unique shape. So if you bought these before, you know they have a unique shape. To how they're made that's what makes them special and unique um, let's go ahead and take a smell of the foot got a little bit of hay as well manure maybe like a a dried fruit so yeah so it's the yagua jc newman cigars if you could find one i think they're usually around 9.99 depends on your tobacco tax on how much they go for but i'm excited to try this out all right, so let's go ahead and get this cut. It has like a, a spice pepper, but it also has like a, like a fruity note. A little bit of mustiness, I guess. Pretty flavorful. Man, work's been crazy though. Been busy at work. Just trying to drop this video the usual manner that I do. But, uh, you know, life gets busy at times, so what can you do? Getting like a, a chocolate, chocolatey taste, like a baker's chocolate, actually like a milk chocolate. It's pretty sweet. Here's some spices. A little bit like a dried fruit, but we'll go ahead and uh, get further down into the first third and we'll see if there's been any transition or changes in the flavors or if any of them have uh, intensified okay so it started off with that sweet chocolate it's still there sweetness the chocolate but then it started becoming a bit salty and I got some peanut butter as well as a dried fruit I couldn't really tell because it's subtle, but it's maybe like an apricot. Um, the first time I smoked one of these, I remember it being salty. Um, so I'm picking out a little bit more flavors the second time I'm going around at this. So sweet chocolate, a little bit of saltiness, peanut butter, and some apricots so far. We're going to see in the second third if there's any different flavors that I pick out or notes. So stay tuned. Second, third, still has that peanut butter. It's uh, strengthened a little bit on the peanut butter. It has the barnyard, almost like a Nutella as well because that chocolate's still lingering around. It does have that fruit flavor. I can't really pin it. Like I first said, it was an apricot, but I don't know. It's hard to, to pin what it is, but it does have a little fruity note. So it does have a tad bit of saltiness, but it's smooth. So uh, the burn so far has been pretty even for the most part the draw has been flawless construction's great I haven't had any issues with it so we'll go ahead and see what happens in the final all right so the final third it's been a uh, good smoke 
the uh, flavors haven't really changed much from the, uh, the second third. It was uh, peanut buttery, Nutella, like Nutella um, fruit goodness. It was smooth. It was good. Um, I'm not sure what else I can say. It was a good stick for the price point. Uh, I had to grab as many as I could when I uh, first went to my B&M and they had them. I was limited to two. When I was in Vegas, I was like, I got to stock up on these. So I stocked up on some of these. Uh, go ahead and try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your experience is. Drop it in the comments. We'll see you. We'll catch you next week.